Hi, it's Candy. Welcome to the Art of Planning, where our purpose in planning is pretty, on purpose, and powerful. Um, and that's a powerful way to plan. We can get a lot done whenever we do that. And this is part two of why I started pretty planning. <laughs> okay, I am not going to start this again because so far I've started it about three or four times. I'm off my game a little bit because um, I haven't I haven't been consistent in this. If you watch the first part, if you watch part one of why I started planning, you'll get the backstory of that. So I'm not going to go into that. But this is part two of why I started pretty planning. And I told you I'm not going to do this with any notes, which is quite unusual for me. But I wanted to be this more free flowing and just really from the heart because this is a special story to me and because I wanted it to be that way I may bounce around a little bit. In the first part I did not lay the groundwork exactly right because I started with the fact that three years ago is is what kind of changed the way, it was the beginning of what changed the way of my type of planning. It changed it from being a totally business type of planning into even looking at pretty planning, into even knowing what it was. But that was just the start of it right there. I probably sounded like that was whenever I first started my pretty planning. It wasn't. That's when things started happening. That's when that's when my mother had her first major heart attack. There was a second heart attack after that. There was a defibrillator she had put in. That's when in our family we started a new normal. That was not, however, when I started looking at pretty planning. That was when things started changing in our family. Dad was the caregiver for, for a mother for probably a year, a year and a half after that. And then he slowly, they're both in their 80s. I mean, you know what? You can only do so much for so long. Dad's health started deteriorating. So he had to have some things done. He had to, he started going for more medical tests. He actually had a couple of stents put in because he started having some heart problems. So he had been the major caregiver and then at that point his health started suffering. So then then there were two people that needed a lot more attention. Now here's what I want everybody to understand. I am not playing a sympathy card because things changed in our family and because I made the decision to back off from what I had pursued for so long as a career. I don't want anybody's sympathy. I just want you to know why I even started doing any pretty planning, why I started playing with stickers and washi, why I started any of this, okay? I don't want any sympathy. I just want you to know people have tons of reasons for starting. I love stories. I, what I know is everybody has a story. You look at somebody, you look at anybody someday and know they've got a story and their story is probably incredibly interesting. Well this is the reason I started in pretty planning. My planning prior to that was in a Franklin planner. Well I wish I had it for you to see. It was in a distressed leather planner. I loved that binder like crazy. Um, I used it exactly like that for, wow, 15 plus years. So I was really distressed when I decided to retire it. But I loved that. So my planning up to then had been very, um, very, very business focused. I mean, the inside of my pages, well, even, even in my Franklin Planner today, although I will let it slip a lot more to... The insides of it can be prettier, but in this one, I still, this is my foundational planner. This is the one where I do 
I do more business related, down to business. This is, this is where it all foundationally gets done. However, at that point, this is where I made all of my appointments, where I made all of my schedules, where I made the time to work with my, um, with my consultants, where I made the time to work with my clients. I had been for, for 22 years, a sales director with Mary Kay Cosmetics, and I took my, I took my position very seriously because I loved and I love still that job. I'm just not at the level that I used to be. I loved working with my clients who turn into friends. I love working with my unit who are amazing, awesome women. I love working with the company. I loved um, traveling. I, I just loved every single part about it. I took it very seriously. And I every single day, this puppy was full. And I loved it and I needed to organize and coordinate and this is how I did it. When we were transitioning in our family, what I knew was my planning was starting to look a lot more different. Now, I made the choice to make that change. But you know what? I don't, I don't change anything easily. Even though I made that choice, it was hard. It was, that transition was hard. I just, I mean, I fight, I guess I fight change. I don't know. But it was hard for me to go in my binder from, from this kind of a schedule to one that now focused more on out-of-town appointments, on doctor trips, on medical trips, on appointments that that we had scheduled and on appointments some days that weren't scheduled. They just were needed immediate attention. And again, I don't think I'm whining. Don't for one minute think that. And do not think that that I want to come across as this sacrificing person. It was a choice. That was my choice. But sometimes in choices, there are things that we don't consider. And that was one of them. And suddenly, 22 years of planning the way that I used to became so different. And that was hard for me. And it was hard for me to look at my planner, which, had one he which at one time had held makeover appointments and training with new consultants and business trips that were tons of fun and all and then all of a sudden I'm replacing it with things that really mean that my parents health is failing and that that's a new part of my life and that that's hard so when all of a sudden I realized which is probably what one and a half two years into it that the planning was changing, then I had to figure out how to adapt and how I could be okay with that. I mean, it was never going to be okay that my, my parents' health was feeling, failing. That was never going to be okay. But I had to figure out some way to put down different appointments and, and make doctor trips and make medical trips and do all of that and kind of be okay with it. So, some way or other, I found this pretty planning world and started looking at it and started watching the YouTube videos and started watching Instagram and started checking into stickers and I thought, you know what, this is a way I can do it. I always drink water, tons of water. I've fallen back into the Coke trip just a little because our schedule has been so wild and get a little bit of nourishment from sugar and I know I shouldn't say that but that's the fact okay so I don't know how I even found the pretty planning stuff but I did and I started looking at it and I thought this is a way this is a way that I can have appointments and things on my schedule that aren't really so fun if you will or aren't really so pretty 
or aren't really uplifting or that indicate a new transition in our family and I can put them down and I can look at them and part of it can be pretty part of the appointments that aren't so great can be pretty and that's when I, I looked into the pretty planning so all of a sudden it became more okay to do that so I think on the other video I made it sound like you know, right away, I started looking to the pretty planning. I didn't. I kind of got there kicking and screaming, more or less. Um, and the research I did, it took me a while. And I did it, you know, I did it pretty carefully and took some time doing it. However, you still can never tell um, right away what you want to do, it, how you want to do it, the quality of stickers, the quality of, of washi tape. I'm still finding that out. I still got some rolls just the other day that are well within the past month that are not good quality at all. I don't know where those came from, but not happy about that. So I started out probably just because of the clarity of and the popularity or the timing, I don't know, I started out with an Erin Condren, which I have loved. I mean I really love my Erin Condren Life Planner. Love, love, love that. As a matter of fact, it's probably getting about time for the new one to come out. So that means that I have, I have just really been in this pretty planning world for about a year. Now, that being said, um, once I found pretty planning, I absolutely love it. I still watch tons and tons of YouTube videos. I still look at planner sites and sticker sites and washy things and I, I, there's still is so much to know and so much to love and so much to learn. Um, I still, I picked this up the other day at Target. Um, I'll probably do a haul on it. This one starts in July, which golly, is not all that far away, but this is one of their new planners. They have several out. I flipped through some of them. I don't, you know, I just had this one that I preferred over some of the other ones. I also... <gasps> I also picked up this one. This is not really my size of choice. This is a Webster's Color Crush and it's this off white which I really like. This is an inexpensive little binder and it was on sale and it had a special price in addition to being on sale so I think this was like five dollars or so by the time I got it. Um, my daughter and I have the same. The only thing better than finding something cute is finding something that's cute and on sale. So, I mean, this was like nothing, and which is good because I'm really hard on my things. And an off-white binder in my hands is dangerous. But when you can find one that's real cute and I don't have to worry about it, then that's neat. There are no pages in this, so I'm gonna have to get some pages. Um, but what I'm doing now is I'm loving these type of things. And I still don't know enough about about them and the different sizes and what I prefer and what I like so I just want it all and that sound terrible but I do I want I want it all I love the binders I love so many different binders I love systems I love the systems and of course I have a want list that's one of the things that whenever I created some inserts for myself to carry around in my Franklin planner um, and I had this page open and I have no I have no idea where it is that I put it oh right there um, there are some planning planner systems that I know I want I want the purposeful planner for the new cycle I want the inkwell press planner the new one I missed out on the release of a lot of them last year for the year because I just wasn't on top of the, the new releases and when they were and all of that stuff. So I just didn't get in on it. Um, I want the Equal Press Planner. Um, I'm very interested in the Lime Life Planner. I love those systems. I want to try all the new systems. I mean, I'm really into the planning phase of it because I've worked with the Franklin system for so long. So I know what I like in a system. 
there are lots of binders out there that I haven't that I haven't tried and here's my issue with that I live so far away from any type of shopping that I very rarely get a chance to put my hands on and touch and feel and see and know the size of anything live and in person that that's real hard for me so when I order I pretty much order blind and I don't like that that's that's not that's not real good so I don't get to I don't get to see any of them first so that's a little hard for me. Um, I'm, I don't have anything Kiki K. I've never seen anything Kiki K. I'm very interested in that because it has such a huge following. Malden, the Malden planner or the Malden binder, I'm really interested in. Um, file effects. Never seen a file effects. Never seen a file effects. And I know that has a huge, those have a huge following too. There are a lot of new planners out there that are being released because planning is getting to be popular and I just predict that it's going to explode even more. So I've got a lot of things like that um, and like I said I'm I'm pretty on top of the planning system because I have used the Franklin for so long so I kind of know the guts of systems and I certainly know what I like in a real business focused area. I'm still feeling it out with the pretty planners. I have a Kate Spade. I am still trying to figure that out, how to use that. She's a pretty little girl, just not real sure how to use her effectively. So, with that being said, I need to wrap this one up, and I'll probably need to go to a third part just to throw in a couple other things and then wind it up. But these are all why a person that is not really into pretty planning that much. These are why I got into pretty planning and I really love it now. So um, stay tuned and I'll see you soon. Okay, thanks. Bye.